Hi there, Racer Z Reviews. High performance and efficiency is critical from our hardware. With modern CPUs pushing 5 billion clock cycles per second and fiber optic connectivity presenting unprecedented speed, up to around 10 billion bits per second. Yet, most PC aficionados still only have access to a fraction of the speed. The end result is waiting. Message loading, please wait. And no one likes waiting. Okay, it's all done. Especially when productivity can be slowed by processes that take a long time. Now another consideration, power failure, power surges, and the resulting hardware and software malfunctions. What if the electrical grid cuts out and your data is being handled? Error, project data not found. Let me provide you with the power to make an informed decision so that you can tap into higher speeds reliably. Now, there's a huge cost associated with high performance computing, 10 gigabit Ethernet being one of these. But if there's a plan, we can work to it and manage it. Presenting a quick plan for obtaining 10 gigabit Ethernet speeds that's going to be effective, on the budget, hopefully reliable, and highly obtainable. First step, we need a high performance computer. Make your pick. My personal preference, the Z840 workstation from HP. Very reliable, dual Xeons, lots of scope for upgrades between memory and PCI connectivity. Now one of the PCI connectors that is highly, highly recommended here will be our 10 gigabit Ethernet card. So this is the Intel X540. Very, very nice looking card with dual RJ45 ports which will allow us to get to those high speeds. Now, that's a great start, but this needs to be managed by a switch. This is the one that I would recommend, the Ubiquiti Unify PoE Managed Switch. Very, very affordable, at least relative to all of the other options when it comes to 10 gigabit ethernet. You may find others that are cheaper, so it's best to match to the number of ports you require. This one does have the added benefit of being managed, and there are four ports. So the four on the right being our 10 gigabit, and the one on the left being our uplink port for management, as well as providing power, so keep that in mind as well. But we'll talk about that in a future video. Next one, UPS, uninterruptible power supply. This is the Defender 1600 VA. Very powerful, providing up to 960 watts of power. It cancels out any electrical abnormalities, so very useful protecting your hardware. Next one's a NAS. Now you have lots of options here, I use a Z420, but you could use a Z440 or even the 240, very well suited to this. But once we have all this hardware, how do we connect it? Well, that's what the Lab Zero is for. Let's go through and see if we can quickly connect all of these. So first one's our workstation, which will be our main machine and my application. It's going to create lots and lots of video footage. We add in our X540 T2 10 gigabit Ethernet card with two RJ45s, and we're ready to go. Next step is our uninterruptible power supplies. Now, notice plural, we will need two to adequately power the machines in this particular network. So, cyber power, very powerful. That one puts out a bit more power 1300 watt, which is well suited to the Z840. Now, I also have the Z240 dedicated case swap which is going to be a machine for recording 4k video dedicated machine that you lug around to your point or site of interest and i also have a z420 which is a dedicated file server its only purpose is to store video data and it does so on a very low power draw power supply now next one there is our switch we need our ubiquity 10 gigabit ethernet four port switch which is going to manage all of that data throughput there's also going to be the need for a router and probably a modem depending on your network so in my case using a netgear router but lots of options there you can make your pick this is beginning to look like a home network but it's not all wired up so how could we wire this well the first thing is going to be to make use of our ups's so let's see if we can figure out an efficient way to power something like a home network. Well, first step will be to connect our power connections. So I'm going to take power from the cyber power to the Z840. 
which will give a very nice output to sustain the Z840's very high power draw, which on its absolute supreme draw can pull up to maybe about 900 watts of power. So that UPS is more than efficient to also power one extra device. In my case, I'm going to power a Netgear router. But it's up to you as to where you connect these or how you connect them. But that's one way. Now another one that will need power here is going to be our Z240 dedicated video recording machine. Now theoretically you wouldn't have to power this off a UPS, but I think it's good to power it off our Dynamics UPS. You could also power the Ubiquiti switch and you could even power your NAS machine, whatever your NAS might be. When combined together, that gives us reliable, stable performance. Now, next one here in blue is going to be our gigabit Ethernet connection. Yes, that is the slow connection, which is still generally fine unless your internet is able to go higher. My internet speed cannot go more than one gigabit where I am, so I don't have a choice. This is my max. So connecting the Z840 to the router, connecting the Z240 to the router, and connecting our Ubiquiti switch to the router so we can manage it through our internet portal. Next one's our 10 gigabit connections. Keeping this network simple, there's only two because those network cards are really expensive. So we'll connect one, the Z420 adapter to our Ubiquiti switch, and we'll also connect our Z840s 10 gigabit adapter to our 10 gigabit switch. That gives us a really fast performing system, suitable to your modern systems. Now keep an eye out here for future tutorials on how to actually set up all of these systems, allowing you to get back to your creativity and not worry about the technical side of it. Did you find that useful? Well, you may also enjoy this video. And you may also be interested in this video. Hopefully enjoyed that content. I will see you on the next video. That was Lapsero, our new series.